Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we have another fun process video and this one's extra special. One, because it's the first process video of my cat. Two, it's a challenge video. So this is for a challenge over in a Facebook group that I am an admin of. And it's called The Young Scrappers and it's everyone who scrap books or makes cards or paper crafts that was born after 1990. So if you want to come join us, just go and find us on Facebook. So now onto the layout here. I'm doing another 12 by 12 layout. And um, everything I basically use for this is from the Brenda Walton collection by Kane Company. So that was like a while back, I'm pretty sure. Although she made quite a few collections for them. And the challenge this month is pastels. We had a nice um, collage made of some pastel pictures. And it's, it was very pretty. So I decided to use this collection for the first time. And right now I'm going to the all the embellishments that I have and popping out some of these flowers, which I don't end up using, which is really sad, but I'll use them on another layout. But I do end up using this little bird, so that's good. But I'm just going to take out all of these little embellishments and all the papers I use and embellishments, except for a few that I'll point out, are from this same collection. So as I mentioned before, this is my cat. Her name is Honey. And I also, um, or we also have her, adopted her brother, and his name is Ted. And I just took these pictures of her over this past winter. She's really cute, and she loves to watch the birds. So I'll end up making the title of this layout on Birdwatch, which is really cute. So I'm just going to mount both of my photos onto some different pieces of the patterned 6x6 paper. One's pink and one's like a beige pink color and then we've got purple i think it's purple i'm not sure and the background you paper you seen right then the yellowish one i don't end up using i end up using this orange polka dotted one which is also kind of hard to see and sorry for the blind strips on the sides of the frame here i only have a um diffuser plate that's big enough for like just the center of my desk so I tried to cover that up as much as possible. And I'm also looking at all these sticker sheets right now. So it comes with like three different sets of small alphas and then a bubble sticker sheet and then three sets of big alphas. So right now I'm going to start the title. I'm using these blue and green alphas to say, like I said before, it's going to say on bird watch. I think. I think that's what it is. Yeah, on Birdwatch. And I decided to make this a little bit more dainty by adding a doily, so I cut that in half and stuck it under the top and the bottom section of my photos, just to give it a little more continuity. And now I'm going to um, use my ruler to make it a straighter line here. Because originally I wanted it to be on bird or er, bird watcher, but I didn't have enough uh, R's or something. I don't remember, but I couldn't do it. Whatever the reason was. And so I'm just straightening out the bottom word there, and then trying to decide where I want the top word to be. And then I'm going to use these black letters to put the word on onto my layout. And now I'm just going to glue down the bottom corner here, and you can't really see it that well, but it's just a cluster of some die cuts and uh, some of the stickers off the sticker sheet, and I'm using my glossy accents to do that. And just there you saw me attach a canvas, or no, burlap butterfly from Recollections. I thought that added a nice touch. And now I th want to balance out some of those die, cut the die cuts in the uh, right bottom corner here, so I plan on putting some the left bottom or the left top corner as well. Now you also see me adding some green to this layout because originally I didn't plan on using any green but then the title in the bottom right corner had a lot of green and blue in it and I didn't have any on my <laughs> left side of my layout so I had to fix that. So we cut a 6x6 six six in half and put some in the same places as the doilies so they match as photo mats. So now I'm just going to glue down my photos and then using my glossy accents again to create a cluster in the top left corner here. 
if I could glue things on straight that would help. And I want to use um, some of these new flower punches I got. 